Well, domestic violence is an issue that many people experience, including people living on the streets. Our Blair Best found that many women end up on the streets after escaping violence and live in fear of being found. Blair met one homeless woman willing to share her story. But we do want to warn you, what's talked about in this story may really be upsetting to some viewers. It's often considered an eyesore for those passing by. But within the trash, RVs and trailers is a community of homeless people. For many of them, like Mackenzie, this stretch of Northeast 33rd Drive is the only stability she has. Everybody on the street, they help each other out. She borrows this tiny trailer from a friend. After losing her job in housing, it's the first place she's felt safe in five years. It's scary. <laughs> scary sometimes. A lot of females on the streets have been raped, um, kidnapped, things like that. I'm sorry if this is too forward of me, but have you experienced any of that? Yes, I have. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're vulnerable out here. Mm -hmm. Where do you go for any help? Or I don't know where to go for help. Like, um, yeah, I don't know. So she protects herself the only way she knows how. And I don't go out alone at night. I try to stay, you know, I don't know, with somebody. I have a boyfriend now, so nothing's happened since then. But that hasn't always been the case. Her past relationships turned abusive due to drug addiction. Some people, when they don't have their drugs, they just get angry and take it out on, you know, the people closest to you. She and many other homeless women have lived in a fear that's almost indescribable. I would just cry all the time because I just, you know, wanted to wake up from the nightmare. We live in a housing crisis in Portland, um, both with homeless services as well as domestic violence services. Mackenzie Corkshank works the intake phone line at Bradley Angle, connecting people with domestic violence housing. About 75% of the calls are from women experiencing some form of homelessness. It's usually definitely the biggest factor for folks. There are three main domestic violence shelters in Multnomah County, and they often fill up because they still limit capacity due to COVID concerns. You're working with folks to find all the options available, and there aren't really a lot. Leaving young women like Mackenzie. I don't feel very good about myself <laughs> these days. Longing for safety. Sad. It's really sad. I would not wish it upon anybody. Mackenzie's story isn't unique. She's tried to find housing but gets lost in the system. She also struggles with an addiction to meth, which she says is a coping mechanism. Now, it was clear when talking with her that the trauma she's faced out here has worn on her. And people who work with domestic violence victims say there needs to be more money towards opening more DV shelters. There also needs to be a focus on education to tell people what their resources are so that they can reach more people like Mackenzie. In Northeast Portland, Blair Best, KGW News. And if you or someone you know is a domestic violence victim, the 24-7 National Crisis Hotline is right there on your screen. You can call or text 800-799-7233. This number connects people with resources and emotional support.